Good morning, guys. the three-day fast um, challenge so to speak um, I just kind of like invited a lot of people to join me on the journey this time with me um, I've got a few that are doing it with me so um, kudos to you guys again um, if it's too much for you and you can't withstand it then definitely listen to your body and do what you can do with it but otherwise you know let's see how well we do and let's try to make it to 72 together or a little over 72 if we can um that means going until the next morning saturday morning at 8 a.m which will give us let's see 72 and 10 is 82 84 hours of fasting if we can do that um so yeah so i i'm prepared with my stuff i've got my waters um they're around here somewhere i'll show you guys in a second my power a zero and my um ice drinks um it is about 11 o'clock in the morning on day one and i'm about halfway through with my very first bottle of water and i will be refilling it again i sound a little nasally because it's february and it's cold where we are and i tend to have issues with that so but yeah um that's about it as far as my weight um i started this journey to today i weighed in at 265.4 um i forgot to record it this morning when i got on there and my hair <laughs> is heavy again so i weighed when i first did my hair i weighed it i weighed without my hair in my head and i got on when i finished it because it didn't take me very long to finish it anyway i was two pounds heavier so this time my hair is about two pounds heavy so um if you see the numbers on the scale and i go telling you it's two pounds less than that that's because this hair in my head it's pretty but it's heavy it's not heavy like it's laying my head down but it's heavy as far as when i get on the scale it adds a few pounds to it um so yeah so good luck to everybody that is doing this with me we got this day one halfway done let's move on to day two day three and be successful all right wishing you all well see you guys on day two not completely bye i forgot so i do have my water got my water i'm like like i said almost halfway done drinking that uh in the bag my lunch bag because i'm out and about so i came prepared guys i have my the rest of my water to refill this bottle up my power eight zero i just like the great ones it's they're, they're good to me and then i've got my ice drink um this time today we've got the pink grapefruit so we're gonna see what happens with that so trying to be prepared for this guys and do our best that we can all right that's it i promise that's it this time see you guys tomorrow all right good morning it is the morning of day two on the three-day water fast for February 2020. Let's hop on and see. All right, looks like I'm at 263.2, which is actually 260. I mean, sorry, 263, 62.3 was actually 260.3 because I got my hair in. All right, I'll see you guys in the kitchen. I'm going to make my tea. Okay, so my day is getting a tad bit of a late start due to this beautiful mess that's out here. It's pretty, but that means I gotta drive in it, y'all. So, here goes nothing. Ah! All right, so here is the tea in the making. Got all my ingredients. I got my, my cup, my salt, my cinnamon. My cayenne, apple cider vinegar, and then I've got my, if I can get it, it's all back there, my tea from Good Earth, sweet and spicy, herbal black tea, and of course my distilled water. I'm gonna mix it up and do the same so I can get up out of here. It is 8:26, and again, this is because of the snow.
All right, so it is about whew, almost two o'clock on day two of the three day water fast. I am feeling pretty good. Um, I did have a bit of a headache earlier today when I first woke up, but I think that was due to me being jolted out of my sleep. So as I showed you guys earlier, we had snow. So my day ended up being a snow day um, because the school that I was supposed to go and talk to today ended up closing, but I didn't find that out until I got there. Needless to say, I made an hour and a half drive, but I got to see my husband on the way back home. So, hey, it all worked out for me. Um, but I think that's what happened with my sleep. It got broken too abruptly. And then that's um, kind of probably why I had the headache because I feel great now. Um, there are some other things that did take place that was different than time before. Like I woke up this morning and my mouth was very dry, which happened before, but not when I drink about 80 to almost 100 ounces of water. It normally doesn't. But it did. It was very dry this morning. And then I um, also had like that, you know, you have bad breath in the morning. But this morning it was like horrible. I like literally was like covering my mouth. Not wanting to talk to my husband until I made it to the bathroom. So I don't know if anyone else has ever has experienced that or not. But some people say it happens. I think it's because of the toxins that are coming out of your body during a fast. But I'm not 100% certain. I'm just going off what people say but i'm telling you what happened to me um but i other than that i'm doing pretty good i'm literally almost what let's see 37 no sorry 41 almost 42 hours into this fast and um tonight at eight o'clock will be 48 hours in and i feel pretty good and i've been drinking on my power rate so i'll show you in um this clip here I've got my Power A Zero, the grape flavor, my ice drink, the peach nectarine, and of course, you know, I have my water. Um, I've got about 64 ounces, I think, that was left in the bottle. I'm looking off to the side because everything is behind the camera right now. Um, so, and then you saw this morning I made my tea. I drank all of that on my drive up. And I'm going to probably try to get in again today about 80 to 100 ounces of water to keep me satiated through the night. And then tomorrow at 8 o'clock, I should be done with my fast. So my goal this time is to ooh, pray for me, y'all, to wait until Saturday morning, actually, to break my fast with some bone broth and some um, probably just some watermelon or um, some more water fruits or juicy fruits, as we call them. I will let you guys know how that goes. Also, I want to, and I know I say this all the time, and I hope you guys will watch it if I do it. Want to do some more what I eat in a day or what I eat in a week. Probably what I eat in a week because it's easier for me to do a week long video, have time to record it and then post it versus doing a daily one because I have a busy, busy, busy schedule. Um, so I'll probably do a what I eat in a week. Some what I, some what I eat in a week video. What I eat in a week video. Talk child. So what I eat in a week videos for you guys so you can kind of see some things that I'm eating especially since I've decided to do the Weight Watchers um, blue plan so I'm on the WW blue plan and the things that I get to eat I'm not deprived on this plan which is awesome for me I like eating I like food but I've also noticed changes in what I choose to eat like I pick I'll pick fruits to eat all, eat now because there's zero points on my plan um, versus like chips and cookies and stuff like that. Now I'll still have my occasional chips and cookies and I'll still have my occasional either cheat meal or cheat day. It's not for me. It's not a cheat meal or cheat day. It's just a don't track type of day. And I've been still kind of steady losing maybe you know, a tenth of a pound here, a pound there. You know, so I feel pretty good. It's going on three weeks, but this week I did not track because I'm doing my water fasting. I tracked at the beginning, kind of, sort of, and then right now I'm fasting. And then at the end of the week, my week actually starts on Friday. So on Friday, um, I won't have anything to track for that day, but the rest of the week I'll be sure to make sure I'm tracking, except for Saturday because we are dating each other on Saturday. I'll show you some clips of what we get to do Saturday. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the pics when I put those in or even some small videos. Who knows if I get some in or not. But yeah, so it's Valentine's Day on Friday and on Saturday, um, my hubby and I are going to celebrate it. And it's kind of like a birthday slash Valentine's Day surprise for him. So, well, not so much a surprise because he knows. I had to tell him so we could be able to go. But I'm excited. I just love him so much and I love to show him and multiple ways how I love him so. 
So um, yeah, I'll show you guys some clips of that towards the end of the video so you can see what we got to do. But other than that, that's all I got. The past is going great. Sorry, y'all know I ramble, but I be excited about stuff. So I want to share it with you guys, let you know what's going on with me and kind of get you excited about yours. Those of you who did join me on this um, water fast, I hope you're doing well. Hope you did well. Because by the time you see this, it will be at the end of the fast. But I'm reaching out to you guys every day that I can to make sure everything is going great, help you work in, motivate you and encourage you and just give you words of encouragement to kind of give you the drive to keep going. Even if you only made it 12 hours, kudos. Made it 15, 20, 30, 35, 40. Who knows? Even if you did that, kudos to you because you set your mind to something and you achieved it. It may not have been the long-term goal you wanted to reach, but it was a goal you reached. You actually put your mind to fasting and you did it, even if it was for a short window. Don't beat yourself up about it. Be encouraged and keep moving. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow, day three, let you know my results, and then I'll do the final way in. And I'll have this up and running for you guys by Monday. Do the final way in so you guys can see how I did. Remember, this is this hair I was talking about, y'all. Like, it, two pounds, two pounds of hair. I was like, okay. But it came out really nice. So I wanted to have it done for our event for Saturday. And I may take it down because it is heavy. And I don't like the heaviness pulling on my hair. So we shall see. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. All right, good morning. It is day three of my first three-day water fast for February 2020. I'm about to weigh in. All right, it says 259.4. So that's really 257.4. So yay, kill them. Look what I did. It is 8.01 on Valentine's Day, y'all. Sorry about my janky Fitbit. All right, so I made it to 8 p.m. on my three-day water fast for February 2020. I may do another one towards the end of the month. We shall see. Who knows? I'm going to show you guys what I'm about to refeed on. I do not have my bone broth. Thought I had some. Don't. So, yeah. But what I'm about to eat is really good. I was going to wait until tomorrow on Saturday and refeed then, but I'm hungry. So it is what it is. I'll do my final weigh in in the morning. That way you guys can see how well I did. And yeah, so kudos to you who did this with me. Um, share with me in the comments how successful you were. I know we probably will have talked before then because I'm about to text everybody now or shout out everybody now. So let us know that we're done and go from there. Oh wait, this was the 815. I'll be back at 815. All right. So this is what I will be eating. I've got some green grapes, some strawberries, and I've got some watermelon down in here. If you guys can see it really good. I got my watermelon, but this is what I'll be eating on at 815. So I'll be back at 815 to tell you guys, hey, one more time. And then that'll be it. Congrats to those of you who joined me on this fast. Mission accomplished. Well, it's 8. 18 so but still we made it we did it through the three-day fast um and i feel pretty good about it i hope those of you that joined me and was able to get through it that you feel pretty good about yourself and again if you're only able to make it 12 hours 24 46 48 however whatever still feel good about yourself because you put your mind to something you accomplished it and you achieved if not the big goal a small goal so Kudos to everybody, and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I will post at the end my final weigh-in for tomorrow morning. It may be a little different because I am about to have my watermelon, my grapes, and my strawberries, and call it a night. All right. Bye, guys. It is final weigh-in. Let's see how it did. So that's... 257.7 or 255.7 because my hair weighs too down. So a total of 9.3 pounds lost this time. Woo -woo. <laughs>
fuzzy. Y'all can't really see me. There's Dave. Say hi, honey. Hey, Dave. No, not hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, loves. Be blessed so much, Jess. Chauncey's peace.